Energy of a moving roller coaster. Okay. Here's a problem related to the law of conservation of energy. You have a roller coaster with two hills, in this section anyway. First hill is five meters tall. Second hill is eight meters tall. Here's the problem. A roller coaster is coasting on a track. When it reaches point A, it is moving at five meters per second. What is the velocity at point B? Will the coaster reach point C? If not, what velocity is required at point A to reach point C? So, as this coaster is moving, it's going to go up the hill, it's going to slow down. Does it have enough speed at point A to reach the top at point C? So, first question, what is the velocity at point B? In order to find this, we need to remember the conservation of energy law, which states that all the energy at a point A is going to equal the energy at point B. In this case, you can assume that there are no energy losses due to friction or heat. So, all of the energy at A goes to all of the energy at B. The energy at point A is made up of potential energy and kinetic energy. And the same is for point B. There's potential energy at B and kinetic energy at B. The formulas for those are mg times ha plus one half mva squared, and then mg times hb plus one half mvb squared. Since the height at point B is equal to zero, whoops, this term here will cancel out. Also, there's an m in each term that cancels out. And all you got to do is solve for velocity at B. And doing the algebra manipulation of this formula right here, this equation, VB is the square root of the velocity at A squared plus 2GHA. Plug it into your calculator, you get 11.09 meters per second. Okay, that's how fast it's going at point B. So, given that, how, f how high could the coaster get? Let's just say this coaster just went off in a straight line and didn't come back down. How high up, the ramp up this track could it get? Suppose all of the energy at point B was transferred into potential energy. So how high up does it go? All of the energy at B is transferred into energy at some final position. The question is, where is that final position? All of the kinetic energy at B is going to be transferred into only potential energy at some final point. It's not point C necessarily, it's just some point. Since there since the cart is at a height of zero down here, the potential energy is zero. It only has kinetic energy because it's moving. So, one half mvb squared is going to equal mg h final. And solve for h final, which equals one half vb squared divided by g, because the m cancels out of both sides. Notice that H final is equal to 6.275. The height of the hill is 8 meters. 6.275 is less than 8 meters. The, car, the coaster was not going fast enough. So it reaches, it goes up, and it stops about right here. So it should have been going faster at point A. 
how fast should the coaster have been going? All the energy at point A is transferred to potential energy at point C. All the energy at B is all the energy at C. Oop, typo. That should be an A. Sorry. Potential energy at A plus the kinetic energy at A is going to equal the potential energy at C. MGHA, -A, 1 half MVA nu squared plus MGHC. HC is equal to 8 meters. HA is equal to 5 meters. M's cancel. Solve for VA nu. The square root 2GHC minus HA, that equals 7.671 meters per second. That's how fast the cart needed to be going at point A to make it all the way to the top, just barely. It has to go at least that fast. Any slower, and it will not get that far. So, another thing is that notice there is no, we didn't solve this using kinetic energy at point C, which means that it goes all the way up and stops. All it has is potential energy. If we had given it a little bit more energy, we could have added a term in here. We could have said, okay, if we wanted some velocity, all we'd have to do is add a one half m times vc squared. If we had a value for that, we could have solved for it. And it would have been a little bit greater than 7.61. So, that's how you solve this problem.